Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Pretty Poison, a variety gamer from South Africa. So in today's video, we will be renovating the BFF home. So if you don't know it, but I'm sure most of us know it, the BFF home houses Travis Scott, Liberty Lee and Summer Holiday. So today we will be giving them a fresh home. Hopefully they like it. I won't really know because we don't know how they actually feel about our homes we build for them. But I like it, so it's fine. <laughs> okay, right. So basically what I did is I also gave each them a makeover. So when you check the house tour, you will see that they do look a bit different to how they usually look in the game. So right now I just finished up the exterior and now I am going to start in the bathroom. So in the bathroom, I managed to put a bathtub, shower, basin and toilet. I tried to make it look a bit different to the regular bathrooms I make. So by the wall, I added these wall flowers. I also made use of half walls in this bathroom. So I put a half wall between the toilet and the basin. And then you will see later by the shower, I also like surrounded it with a half wall. I just thought it's something different. I mean, I think it looks cool. Just to give some separation in the bathroom, I guess. But yeah, so now I add all the clutter I want to use. I also add a mirror before I forget to add a mirror. Then yeah, I put the shelves. I use the one that already has towels in and then I put a blank one so I could put my own clutter. Then by the bathtub, I wanted space for more clutter. So then I put this little end table thing from the spa day back. And then on the half wall by the toilet, I put these magazines. You know, like sometimes if you need to go, then... You can read a magazine to keep you busy or whatever. Then under these shelves, I thought about putting another table, but then I didn't find one I like. So then I just ended up putting three pot plants. And then yeah, by the spa day table, I put some more clutter. And then these towels from the bathroom clutter kit, which is, I absolutely love these towels. They are so awesome. And then yeah, so I also put an incense burner so they can create a nice aroma in the bathroom. I put a bin, a dustbin, and then also, of course, some toilet paper and another plant just to fill up that little corner. For the walls, I wanted to make it look a bit more decorative. So I put these streamers on the walls and then I put this pride flag and then I also put this little, I don't know what you call it. It looks like a little mountain flag type thing. So now we're doing the first bedroom. The first bedroom is Liberty Lee's bedroom. Her traits are clumsy, geek, and bookworm. So for this bedroom, I tried to give it a bookworm vibe. Now we start off with the bed. I put these two cupboards turned around facing the wall, which will be like the headboard of this bed. So I put the bed a bit in the cupboards to hide the actual bed's headboard. Then I place some bookshelves. I wanted to put more than one bookshelf. Because I feel like she's a bookworm so she's gonna have a lot of books. So she needs a lot of space to pack her books. Then I lay out all the clutter I want to use. So these base game books I end up sizing up one of them to create the vibe of having like bigger books. So it's not all just kind of like the same size books you know. And then I also just add a bunch of books that I find in the catalogue. I add these CDs, I add some clutter from the everyday clutter kit, you know, like the phone, the glasses. I also add this little magazine, I think comes from the spa day debug menu. And then I just recolor everything quickly to make it just look better, you know, let, let the colors fit the scheme better. And then I add this mirror and two dresses. They come from the high school years back, which is, I just love the high school years back there stunning furniture for the bedrooms but in any case then we add some more clutter that i'm gonna place so i'm just like positioning it all on the dresser to make it look a bit busy and just it's like all the stuff that she maybe uses like her hair stuff makeup glasses nail polish a few more books and then i thought about fitting in a couch but then i was like nah then i put this desk and computer by the bed now I gave her like a typewriter type of computer. I just thought it like puts the whole bookworm vibe a bit better. You will see I also put a little meditation pillow in the corner. Which actually does end up being functional. I did not think it would but 
yeah, it is actually functional. You guys will see in the houseware. And then to finish off the room, I just put some more stuff here on the wall, hang some bags, some plants, and a few photo frames here on the, just to give it some more clutter. Now, next up, we head on to Travis Scott's bedroom. So Travis, he is outgoing, he's a geek, and he is self-assured. So for this room, I wanted to go with like, a nerdy geeky sciencey type of vibe so you guys will see the stuff i place here i play some weird stuff from the debug menu you know like jars with foreign animals and stuff like that i also put a bubbly in his room because i thought like because he's outgoing i think he's gonna use bubbly a lot i guess so i thought it's a nice touch for his bedroom So I laid out most of the stuff I would like to put in this room. So now I'm just kind of like positioning it. So there's the jars with the weird alien stuff in it. Cap, he has a radio. He has a gaming console so he can chill on his bed and play TV games. I put some nice sciencey posters on the walls, which I thought is really pretty. By his desk, I also put a few items like maybe a photo of him and his friends, some more books, a box of snacks and of course headsets because he's also gonna be like a gamer slash streamer because he has the streaming setup from the high school years back and then i put some rugs some blue rugs i love this little rug i put by the bubbly machine it is so beautiful it makes me think of the crystal creations pack which i don't have <laughs> and then to finish off the room i add a few lighting pieces that looks all sciencey and spacey which i thought would look cute Especially by this little, I forgot what you call that animal in the tank. I don't know, is it like an octopus type thing or what? An alien octopus. But I thought it is really cute. So he has to have one. Then I just retextured the paintings on the wall. And then I put a few toys that is like robot-y and alien-y. And yeah, that is basically his room. So next up we have Summer Holiday's room. So she's outgoing, active, and cheerful, and gregarious. So I felt like she kind of gives off girly, cheerleader type vibes. So that was the look I was going for in this room, really. Now, I know she's an adult, but the room kind of also makes me think of a teenager room. So we can like say she just recently became an adult, right? Because I just love this pink, like I love pink bedrooms. It is so beautiful. But yeah, so now I'm just adding all the clutter I want to put in this bedroom to, to make it look all girly and lifty. And you know, she needs a makeup, a jewelry, a blow dryer, a radio, because what person doesn't like having music in their bedroom? And some nail polish stuff and a jar of bath salt. It's just randomly there because I thought, why not? And then some posters on her wall, which I also sized up. And then for the bedside table, she needs to have a phone, so I put that there. On the door, I also put some streamers. And on the walls, I put these pink streamers. And then the pom-poms and the cheerleading flag. And then I thought to finish off the streamers, let's add those balloons in the middle. Then by this wall, I put a nice sunflower painting because I felt like it's kind of girly, like a sunflower painting. It's really beautiful, like I absolutely love it. But that was it for that room. It was rather quick to make a room actually. So now we head on to the kitchen. So by the kitchen there is like a bump out by the wall. So then I thought that is the perfect place to add a fireplace. And it fits perfectly in that bump out. So that is what I did like by the breakfast nook area. Then in this kitchen I also put a rice cooker. Because I mean I love using the rice cooker from the foreign pack. Now I'm just trying to like figure out the layout of this kitchen but I do end up putting those counters in the middle which has the oven and the stove on them from the dream home decorator pack and then I also added another cupboard to put more clutter on but we'll get back to that soon. For the living room I put two large couches and then also a stand flat screen tv with like a bunch of rugs you know and then this house also needs to have some more skill related stuff so for the boy's bedroom I end up putting him an elemental rack as well because I think he enjoys like the sciencey type of stuff and then I thought about putting this bookshelf to divide the room but then I didn't feel like it worked so then I just left it I put a cards table because this is a BFF house so they need some fun game activities to do together and then there's also the easel and the chessboard I put another bookshelf which is like 
the general bookshelf that they can all use because I'm sure Liberty Lee doesn't want Travis digging in her bookshelves and messing up her books, you know. So I felt like there needs to be a general bookshelf in this house. So now I'm just like placing some more clutter. For this coffee table, I ended up placing the clutter without having to use the old key. So it actually placed nicely, so I'm glad for that. And then some clutter, yeah, in the kitchen, like by the stove, we have the knife block, we have some utensils, the paper towels, you know, stuff you need when you're cooking by the stove, especially when you're working with oil. And then some clutter on the table behind the stove. And then by the rice cooker, we have some jars and containers of stuff in it. And also, of course, the bread. Let's not forget the bread. I mean, almost every household has bread. So, <laughs> yeah, that's just a simple thing. Then we have the umbrella rack and the shoe rack so that they can choose to take off their shoes in the house or whatever. Some wall art to finish off the wall so that it is not so bland. And then a few plants in the house to give it more life. And then just put this like random chair there because I think this chair is really cute. I absolutely love this chair. But also I didn't know what else to put there and the space was rather open so then I just put the chair there. So we hang some aprons on the wall and of course the wall lights, don't forget the, or the switch for the lights, I mean. And then on the backyard porch we have a barbecue area and then I also put a treadmill because Summer is an active girl. So she needs some type of workout tools to use or equipment. And then we also have some swing set, this basketball hoop. I think like since the house is raised, that caused problems with the basketball hoop on the wall. So I had to switch it out for the one that is standing, but then it does work in the end at least. And we also have this pool area and I use this floaty from the, what is that? The, the four end pack. <laughs> now I'm just adding the foundation for my plants is if you guys watch my builds, you'll know I always put these bushes down first and then I add plants in those bushes. So that is literally what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to give this lot some more life. But then I didn't want to overdo it too much in the yard. I think the backyard, I overdid it a little bit. There's a lot of plants in this backyard. But it looks pretty, so I don't mind. It's fine. And then I'm just adding some texture to the ground. You know, like if you walk on the ground, it eventually becomes a bit, I don't know, walked on, I guess. So that was the vibe I was going for there. And then by the front porch we have two benches and then also added some plants just to give it some more life and a few more bushes here in the front. Then I went for a stone border here by the front walk. It takes a while so I will just skip some of that out for you guys. I love doing that in builds because it looks so pretty. So now I'm just trying to add some finishing touches to the whole build. In the kitchen, I end up putting more countertops above the breakfast nook because I felt like it's a bit too open, this space. So I did struggle a bit to get that corner cupboard, but then eventually I just put a straight cupboard instead of the corner one. And then the lights I put behind the cupboards because they were now kind of in the cupboard, so I had to move them. And then for the side panels, I used these Echo Lifestyle wall bars just to like complete the counter, you know? But then I end up using two because I sized them down really small because it sticks too much out at the bottom or like on the sides. So then I had to do that. But I think it looks pretty cool. By the stove, I also added half walls to make the ends look a bit better because it just did not look right. But yeah, guys, now we are on to the house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate it so much. And yeah, you guys must enjoy the house tour and the screenshots afterwards. And I will see you in the next video. Have a lovely day further. Poison out.